So, I found something in Omar Al Jabbar's. Um, I guess, store, if you will, that could potentially be used to make Indiana Jones's ghost sheet a little bit more believable. So, I went ahead and loaded a previous save. Don't worry, I still have the Sophia option. But I just want to see if it's if we can actually solve the mystery of the ghost sheet, because I really, really want to see Indiana Jones, well, one, make an ass of himself even more, but two, most importantly, actually get this to work, because if it works, I'm probably going to laugh incredibly hard. So I've already come back to Monte Carlo. I've just told Sophia we're going to go back. Um, by the time I leave this room, we're going to return the bedsheet. I'd better put the sheet back. Do I really want to take it with me? <clears throat> and we're going to see if uh, if what I think is true. If I'm just blowing smoke, then uh, talk to the stranger. Wait for me! If I'm just blowing smoke, then I'm just blowing smoke and we'll forget all about it and just load up the save with Sophia. But I want to get this to work. Alright. Yes, bloodstained knife. It's beautiful. No, let's not go. Let's go to the back alley. Alright, let's take a little... That's it, right there. That horrible looking mask. Funny, looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Um, can we pick up the mask? He doesn't. Um, okay. Wait one minute. Shit. So you think you can just troll out of here without paying? Well, how much does it cost? That mask? On second thought, you can have it. It's been scaring away all my best customers. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a point-and-click adventure game. Sometimes people don't really notice when we take objects from them anyway, so... I think it's good to know that Omar Al-Jabbar is a much more reasonable man than he is in the Wits Path, though I've got to feeling the second he gets a chance he's gonna double cross us and I don't have a, uh, a closet to lock him in you find Trottier and I'll do the rest I'll find Trottier you can BS him and then I think this is finally going to work ah, come on Monsieur Trottier but that means that we don't get a thrilling car chase through Monte Carlo Oh well. There he is. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? You want another seance? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she's a charming woman. And I am a so sick Frenchman. Oh, Please oh. lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Let this work, please. Let this work. Is he here? Keep him busy. Keep him busy. I'm gonna try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. <laughs> okay. We need to get set up ourselves, though. Thank you for giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. Let's move on. It's a flashlight. Come on, let's pick it up. Let us smile be your umbrella. Oh, God. It's the main power switch for just, the room. Just, just use it before she says anything else corny. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. Let's move on. <laughs> this thing is spooky. Oh my god, oh, yes. I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. Oh man, this is... <laughs> well done, Indy. <laughs> hmm. 
Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. Ah, oh, that's so satisfying. So satisfying. The door is closed. Well, how about we open it now? I better put the flashlight back. And the bed sheet. I Yay! better put the sheet I back. I figured it out! I was determined to figure that out no matter what, but we did it, so... <laughs> yes! Oh man, this is great. Alright. Wait for me! Now let's actually go and take care of business. So, that's actually pretty cool. That means there's probably like multiple solutions to each puzzle. One where Indiana Jones is in charge, another one when Sophia is in charge. That's an awesome sign. So, alright. I don't feel good about any of this because I know how Al Jabbar is. Uh, do you want your mask back? Excuse me again. Yes. Nice, nice shop. shop. I like to think so. Alright. I'm gonna save because shenanigans are gonna happen. All right, let's just... Ah, I don't want to give it to him. I don't have a closet to lock this guy in. Excuse me. I think this may interest you. <laughs> looky, looky, ah, looky. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. You're correct. And the most stupendous find, Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? Well... My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al-Jabbar, you know these things. Then you are Al-Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trinkets at your service. <laughs> Let's get down to business, shall we? What it's do lot... you know about Atlantis? He's a lot more modest in this path. I like that. Yes, tell us. Well, somewhere deep in the Atlas Mountains, there's an archaeological dig site. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Huh, he's being a lot more cool. Well, to be fair, in the wits path, we kind of barged into his residence, started stealing his shit. So maybe he's going to be a little bit more helpful towards us in this version. So that's, that's, that's pretty cool, actually. Whose dig is it? Europeans. Germans, I believe. Nazis. What makes you so sure it's Atlantean? From time to time, scoundrels appear in my shop to trade pieces they stole there. The designs are unmistakable. Where is it exactly? I'm not exactly sure. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. The problem is, the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. Sad. How about if she comes to We'll go. Thanks, Sophia. We will. <laughs> I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. Ah. <laughs> uh. We'll never give up. Well then, let it be as God wills it. Come, I'll lend you my map. Wow. And a couple of sturdy camels. Wow. Yeah, he's super friendly in this in the team path. I'm waiting for us to double cross us though. Is this the double cross? What just happened? 
You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Okay, except our camels died a mile out of town. A terrible shame. Those were my last two camels. Perhaps I can make amends in some small way. Do you still have that mask I gave you? <laughs> yeah... I... Yeah. Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. Will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Lou Gehrig. Ah... Uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about... This Maltese Falcon? This voodoo doll? It was carved from trees in the Black Forest. That's... That's not quite what I want. What else have you got? Give me 20 Dakars. How about... This little red wagon? It <laughs> must belong to Rudyard Kipling. Oh, nice. Nice. I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about... This yellow yo-yo, it was hand-painted by an Arabian princess. Wow, okay. That sounds pretty awful. Have you got anything else? How about this beautiful white cane? It was once touched by Queen Victoria. Alright, I think this is going to be an infinite loop. I'll just keep, keep what, what I've got. got. As you wish, sir. There's like an assortment of items. It all looks pretty worthless. Sophia... Excuse me. We can talk later. Let's do something. What? Bitch. Huh. Okay. Excuse me. Maybe I can give him this mask. Yes? I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. I'll give you this scary mask for a squab. No thanks, it would scare away my best customers. Okay. So... Pull the squab, I'll be back later. I've got an idea. Certainly, Effendi. Okay, so what if we tried instead... We'll give him the mask back. And we'll take one of those items and see if that can't get us the squab. I'm... This could be horrible. I mean, Sophia doesn't want to help at all. Excuse me again. Yes? I'd like to trade my mask for something else. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about... This beautiful white cane, it was once touched by Queen Victoria. Oh, was that the last one? I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about these charming shaded spectacles? With these, a man can stare straight at the sun. Greedy, greedy, greedy. What else? No, thanks. Can I see something else? I saved, but there's How something I just don't... This handsome red fez? No gentleman should be seen without one. Done. I'll take it. You've made a good exchange, Effendi. I got the fez. Oh man, I hope, I hope this works. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Let's make it. I'd like to make another squab offer. I'm listening. This charming red fez. Trade me one squab for one chic new fez. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry, Fendi, but I cannot make that trade. Dang it! Even though red is my favorite color. Ah, take it! Hold the squab. I'll be back later. 
Sertin bir efendi. Ah uh, no, I I can't I I I can't trade backsies. <gülüyor> <gülüyor>